very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for being here this morning. My name is Brian Edwards, VP of Marketing and Development for Gulfstream Goodwill Industries. And what do you think about this amplifier? We want to do a couple of things, ladies and gentlemen, as we, we kick this event off. And uh, the first thing we want to do is um, make sure that we kick it off in the proper fashion that it uh, should be. And I'm going to call on uh, Kevin Jones. Is Kevin here yet? Yes, yeah, so yeah, here he is. All right. Kevin Jones is on his way up. Kevin is a uh, pastor. Kevin Jones, the city, thank you for being here. He's going to lead us in an uh, invocation. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good morning. Good morning. Let us pray. Gracious God, once again, we, your people, uh, enter into your divine presence, God, just thanking you for another day. God, we thank you for the power and the presence of your spirit. And God, we just thank you uh, for those who have made this event possible. Well, first, God, we know you made it possible. But God, we just thank you for the organizations that came together, uh, that provided the resources for this facility to be erected uh, for our brothers and sisters. So God, we just pray that your spirit will come and bless this time together. But more especially, God, we uh, pray that you bless those that will live in these units, God. Uh, God, we just thank you for providing stability in their lives. And Lord, we, we just pray uh, that, that this housing uh, will help them evolve to be the people that you have called them to be. So God, we just thank you for uh, just new development in this Coleman Park neighborhood. It's in your name we do pray. Amen. Amen. Let me get another shout out to God for keeping the rain away. Right. Well, good morning, everyone. It, it's been a long journey to get to this point, and we still got probably another nine months or so, and this, this dirt you see behind you will be replaced by beautiful buildings and landscaping, and to use a baseball uh, phrase, we're we're rounding second base and we're getting close to home and in this case home at Tamron, right? So we're almost there. There's a lot of people contributed to this effort including Gulfstream Goodwill, GL Homes, State of Florida of course, Palm Beach County, and thank you for being here, Quantum Foundation, we got subcontractors, city staff that are here. City staff, raise your hand. Thank you for your contributions. Our excellent police department who actually provided consulting services on security for this project and or have been here since early this morning providing security. Thank you, men and women in blue. I'm here to introduce to you a person that deserves a lot of credit, not just for this project, but for, for her support for affordable housing. In the last five years alone, at least 572 new units of affordable rental housing serving the elderly, homeless, and families has either been developed or is underdeveloped in the city of West Palm Beach. At least another 51 new construction homes have been constructed or under construction that are providing affordable home ownership opportunities to families and stabilizing our neighborhoods, including right here in Coleman Park. And I say at least because those are the ones that I just, out of my head, were, was able to pick out uh, last night, the ones that I know. There's actually been more that have been constructed or under construction. Add to that, there are dozens, actually nearly 100 units that are in pre-development stages right now of affordable housing that will be underway in the next year or two and, and start construction. So, you know, I haven't gone through all the archives of, of all the mayors in, in, the, in the city's history and how much affordable housing was built, but when you add those, those numbers together, I would say it's pretty safe to say that's probably the largest number of affordable and workforce housing units ever created in a five-year period in the city of West Palm Beach. And that doesn't happen by accident. That happens when you have committed leadership and you have great community partners like GL Homes, the Housing Authority of West Palm Beach, Gulfstream Goodwill, you have the, um, our, uh, our partners at Neighborhood Renaissance. I can go on and on with the partners that we have. Habitat for Humanity has done a lot of the projects in this neighborhood that we've donated land to. So it takes all that, a committed city commission that has been a, 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 one of the a people that have supported affordable housing as well. But most of all, it takes the leadership. And it happens we get, we have, we have a, we've had a great mayor who has championed affordable housing throughout her entire tenure. So I want to uh, please introduce Jerry Moyo. Thank you. 
thank you. Um, that, that was very kind, Armando, but um, it doesn't take a great mayor, it takes a great director of community development, so thank you. Good morning, everyone. I'm so glad it's not raining. <laughs> I want to thank everyone for being here and thank our partners for being here. Uh, first of all, I want to thank Mac Bernard, Mayor of Palm Beach County. Thank you for being here. Brian Edwards, who was our MC, VP of Marketing and, and Development for Goodwill Services, Goodwill Industries. Brian. <clears throat> Misha Azrade, President of GL Homes. Thank you. Sabrina Corley, a future resident. Sabrina, are you here? She is not here. Okay. Keith Kennedy, President and CEO of Gulfstream Goodwill. Thank you. And all of the guests who are here. I also want to introduce uh, Commissioner Christina Lambert, who's here with us today. And I don't think there are other commissioners, but thank you. Um, this groundbreaking uh, marks the development of what will be a very special place to call home. And for some of us Palm Beach residents, it's going to be a real life changer. I'm happy to share that the home in Tamarind will be providing housing to those who need it the most, some of our most vulnerable residents here in our city. At a time when many people struggle uh, to put a roof over their heads, this groundbreaking demonstrates that the city of West Palm Beach's ongoing commitment to providing affordable housing and addressing the issue of homelessness and helping people get into homes. That's what it's all about. You, the reason you're homeless is because you don't have a home and we need to get you a home. Through a home on Tramon, we're also creating opportunities for those who desire to live independently and may do so. I'm going to go off script a little bit here. Um, as some of you may know, I spent a good part of my life advocating for people with disabilities. I was a director of special education, I was assistant superintendent of schools in charge of special education, and I know how important it is to be able to live independently for people with developmental disabilities. So this has made such an impact, will make such an impact in the lives of those people to have this option to live independently. So, of course, we want to also acknowledge our fellow partners, as Armando said, GL Homes, Quantum Foundation, Florida Housing Finance Corporation, and Palm Beach County. I also wish to recognize our friends in Tallahassee. So I'm going to have a little political announcement here. Earlier this week, I traveled to Tallahassee, came back Wednesday night. I'm always happy to come back from Tallahassee. Um, I met with members of the legislative delegation of the Florida legislature and also representatives of the governor's office. I want to applaud um, the Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, who has pledged to leave the state's affordable housing trust fund untouched by budget swaps. <laughs> the Sadowski Housing Trust, as it is known, funds two very important programs. The State, um, uh, the state Department Incentive Loan Program, otherwise known as SAIL, and the State Housing Initiatives Partnership, otherwise known as SHIP. Um, to underscore what a difference the trust and these two programs make, in addition to donating the land and donating free waivers, fee waivers here, the city uh, has also been able to donate $250,000 in SHIP funds for the creation of the home on Tamron. That money came from Sadowski. So these funds, um, uh, or from the Housing Trust, as did the $500,000 contributed by the Florida Housing Finance Corporation for this project. So as, 20, as the 2019 state legislative session is about to get underway, I urge you to advocate with your representatives to keep the money in the Sadowski Fund. It's critically important. In closing, I want to say that this may be one of my final groundbreakings as mayor. I think it probably is. No, we got one more. Oh, we do? <laughs> you know, my last day is April 4th, so it's going to be like April 3rd. I'll be doing another groundbreaking. And so I'd like to acknowledge again the great work that Gulfstream Goodwill, an organization changed many lives with the services community. 
um, we have been a great partner to the city uh, because we know we have been able to count on you all these past eight years. So thank you, Gulfstream Goodwill. I want to thank you for everything that you do for our um, residents here in West Palm Beach. Congratulations on the home in Tamarind. And um, thank you all again for being here. And it's a real pleasure to be able to be a part of this groundbreaking today. Thank you. Mayor Moyos, this is our last groundbreaking. Maybe something will happen in a, in a couple of weeks. Uh, maybe another housing complex needs and maybe we can get something else going real quick. <laughs> but uh, for a moment, uh, you know, with Ezra, great idea, and Armando doesn't have any idea what's happening here. But ladies and gentlemen, recently, if you had an opportunity um, to attend the uh, last State of the City address, uh, which was both inspirational and, and, and thought-provoking, too, uh, in a lot of different ways. But as it relates to this morning, as your final term comes to an end, Mayor Moyo, your legacy and your charge to those who were present that day and this day will not come to an end. In your honor, we wanted you to know that once this hallowed ground is developed, we will be planting a tree specifically to both your honor in your hard work, as well as to always be a reminder that in the coming years, we will be able to say words to this effect. Mayor George, Jerry Moyo was indeed a mayor of the city of West Palm Beach. Mayor Moyo was a leader in this city, but was also the epitome of servant leadership. Mayor Moyo recognized the importance of serving all city citizens and their environment too. Mayor Moyo encouraged quality of life for all citizens and valued their souls of the wealthiest among us and equally valued the souls of the least among us. Through the tree that will be planted on this site, Mayor Jerry Moyo's many legacies will be remembered, yet strongly rooted in a hallowed ground standing and growing strong and in honor that will be reminding us of the people that live here, their challenges can be overcome, dreams can come true, and through their own determination and their and other servant leaders like you, their lives will be valued, nurtured, and dignified as is the right of all citizens. Thank you, Mayor Moyo. These legacies will be remembered, so thank you. Now this tree made its uh, way from a table in the middle of the thing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. My name is Mac Bernard, and I'm the mayor for Palm Beach County. Uh, this event is very dear and near to me because homelessness is a major issue that requires major solutions. As chairman of the Homeless Advisory Board and county commissioner, I am fully aware of the issues and I, along with several other people and those of you here today, are diligently working to bring solutions. I am thankful and appreciative to Gulf, good, goodwill, good, no, sorry, Gulfstream Goodwill Industries in partnership with the City of West Palm Beach, the Florida Housing Corporation, Palm Beach County, I, Faye, thank you for being here, and Jonathan Brown, who leads our Housing and Economic Sustainability Department, who is here. GL Homes, uh, the Quantum Foundation for making this project possible in the beautiful District 7 uh, in the Coleman Park area. I proudly represent this area. It is through these collaborative efforts that Home at Tamron came to fruition. County staff have been involved and essential to the success of the project, including Jonathan Brown, Sherry Howard, and Amin Howry. Palm Beach County has committed over $100,000 in program funds and also the land uh, that was contributed to the city. Uh, we con contributed this land to the city of West Palm Beach. The housing project will consist of six housing units for developmental disability residents who are homeless or almost homeless. The design include two buildings one with two units and one with four units, with each unit accommodating one resident per unit. I am hopeful that this is only the beginning of many more projects to come. Let us continue to work hard and collaborate to build more 
housing for our youth, for our homeless, and for our developmental disability residents. Thank you very much. This definitely gives us an extra pleasure too, and as I introduce uh, Mr. Misha Ezzerati, president of Geo Homes, and uh, I would just say, uh, as we talk about this project and highlight uh, Geo Homes, uh, hands down, you and your company do so much uh, for the homeless population. And uh, it's not said enough, but it certainly doesn't go unrecognized. So thank you, and ladies and gentlemen, you could welcome uh, Misha to the podium. Good morning, everyone. Morning. Thrilled to be here with everybody and ready to uh, commence upon this great endeavor. Uh, when Ezra Krieg first came to a few of us, uh, Dick Norwalk and myself, about a year and a half ago, uh, we knew there would be a special project, uh, but one filled with challenges and you know, an uphill battle to get this project off the ground. And as a builder, you realize that no matter the size or the scope of the project, the amount of work that the project requires is the same, the same attention to detail, and that holds true here in this project as well. I'm very proud that we are here after all the hard work that was collectively put in over the past 18 months in the planning and permitting efforts. I would like to thank Mayor Muyo for, the green, for green lighting this project and helping to ensure Gulfstream Goodwill received a property to showcase their template for housing developmentally disabled persons. Also, I want to recognize the gargantuan effort of Armando Fana, who attended every meeting and made sure that the word no was not part of his vocabulary. And I truly mean that. I truly mean that. I mean anything that was needed. He stepped up and made sure that we got in touch with the right people or found money or resources to bridge the gap that arose. You heard about the $250,000. I mean, this project wouldn't have been a go without constantly coming back and making sure that anything that was needed was done, and, and it's incredible. Additionally, I would like to thank the amazing folks at Gulfstream Goodwill, including Ezra and Kathy Spencer and Brian Edwards, and their project planner, Corey Gorman, who we work with many times, all who were relentless in making this come from conception to reality. This is a perfect example of a public, private, and nonprofit partnership. When all three can work together, great things can be achieved. We are very excited to start construction and build these beautiful units for some very well-deserving people. As many of you know, Geo Homes is a community home builder. And as such, we have attempted to bring our expertise to the architecture, layout, site plan and planning of this project. I would like to briefly acknowledge members of my team who are here today. We have many executives here from our land, construction and land development departments, including Dick Norwalk, Kevin Rattery, and George Atkinson. But I would like to thank two people in particular, Sarah also from, who many of you know very well, of course, for all that she does to further our mission to end the cycle of homelessness in Palm Beach County, and also Alan Gremion. He has taken the brunt of the work on at this point and made sure the plans and permits were done correctly and in accordance with the needs of the city, goodwill, the underwriters, and the grants. It's a lot of work and we thank you. So thank you again for coming today, and hopefully the next time we see each other, this site will have homes for six very lucky individuals. Thank you. Thank you so much, Misha. We appreciate it. Appreciate you being here. What well, we'd uh, like to reiterate, if you don't mind, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for those of you that may not know the work that Geo Homes does for Gulfstream Goodwill, but that's one agency out of many agencies that they work with throughout the community uh, when it comes to homelessness and, and other things. So it's. Uh, it's too long to go through now, but I, I would like to also, on behalf of Keith, our board, uh, Gulfstream Goodwill, uh, recognize again uh, Misha, Dick Norwalk, George Atkinson, uh, Alan Gamelian, and also Sarah Alsoprom. So thank you again for everything that you did.
and do. Now, your program says that Sabrina Corley is going to be here. And guess what? She's not here. Uh, so unfortunately, uh, there was a conflict with uh, Sabrina showing up, ladies and gentlemen. But let me tell you, she is projected to go into one of these homes. Now, the best I can offer you this morning, if you go to our website, there is a video uh, that tells the story. It has actually Sabrina telling her story through the voice of uh, Beth Wagmeister, the Director of Deaf Services with Gulfstream Goodwill Industries. And uh, I, I would just ask that you please check that out because Sabrina is going to be occupying one of these apartments. And her story uh, says it all. And I don't want to spoil it because she kind of almost a year and a half ago kind of tells the story of how this is going to fulfill a dream come true for her. And, uh, and I hope you're able to watch it and enjoy it and, and understand a little bit more about her. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to also uh, at this time introduce our president and CEO, Keith Kennedy, uh, to give his comments. Keith? Thank you. Thank, you, Brian. thank you, Brian. And thank you, Mayor Moyo, Armando, Mayor Bernard, and Misha. Thank you for your comments. Um, I'm new to this community. As a matter of fact, interestingly enough, Tuesday will mark my 90th day as part of Gulfstream Goodwill. So what a way for a new CEO to celebrate a 90-day anniversary. Um, being new to the community and, and part of other communities and part of other Goodwills over the course of my tenure, I just want to commend Palm Beach County and what you're doing um, to address homelessness, to address affordable housing, in our communities. I'm proud that our organization is part of that. It takes great vision. It takes a collaboration on a public and a private uh, group. It, it, individuals have to let their egos aside, put their agendas off the, off the table, and work together, or none of this would ever occur. So I just want to thank you for being an outsider who's new to the community on what you are doing. This is a model for other communities to follow. And I will be an advocate on the goodwill level to share that message and bring people down here to Palm Beach to see what we are doing to address these issues. An individual cannot make the most of their lives, they cannot get a job, they cannot be trained if they don't have a roof over their head. So this is a first response type of a, of a triage to help people move out of poverty. Starts here. So. There's a lot of people to thank, and I'm going to try to thank everybody, but I won't. Um, so just bear with me. If I get forget somebody, everybody here should applaud for themselves for, for, for what they've done for this. That's Everybody should applaud for themselves for what they've done to get us to this point. All right, so it is important for me to thank Armando, Ezra, and Kathy, um, and all the various uh, entities and, and, and everybody on the Goodwill team that's worked so hard behind the scenes to bring uh, home a tamarit to this point. Um, as I extend uh, my appreciation to all of you for your time and attendance this morning, please allow me the opportunity to recognize and thank some of our Goodwill board members who are present. Denise McDonald, Rosalina Hom, Sylvia Garcia, Orlando Chang, and once again, don't let me forget Marvin Tank, who made an appearance here today. It's his vision, and I'm just able to stand up here and execute this groundbreaking because of his leadership. Who did I forget? John McCabe. John McCabe, you weren't on my sheet. Thank you for, thank you for coming. Fantastic, thank you. Although not present uh, here this morning, I would be remiss if I'm not recognizing the generosity of the Florida Housing Finance Corporation for their resources and continued support in helping organizations like Gulfstream Goodwill, who are dedicated to helping resolve the difficult challenges of providing affordable and sustainable housing to our homeless community. This includes the Quantum Foundation. Thank you for being here, Camden, and please carry my thanks and gratitude back to your leadership team and your board. Goodwill's management and operation responsibilities at the Lewis Center is a significant example of a, of a public-private collaboration, reflecting the tremendous amount of dedication to make a difference, requiring the talents and expertise of all of our staff, the reliance of continued financial support, 
the community volunteers from the corporate and faith-based communities, and the importance of communicating the successes are all indeed a significant example of how difficult tasks we are faced with, but a task that we all take great pride in providing a leadership role. Many thanks to Kathy Spencer and her team. Everybody on Kathy's team, could you raise your hand for what you do every day? Ezra, Pat, who am I missing? Cindy, all of you, um, thank you so much. Um, without their leadership, Goodwill Industries couldn't have established itself as a leader in providing employment, training, and housing to those who are moving from homelessness to hopefulness with a home. I work at the Lewis Center home on J Street uh, in Lake Worth. So the Lewis Center and our home on J Street in Lake Worth, along with, and Kat has told me, 143 uh, units, housing units, throughout Palm Beach County. Um, those who will live at the home in Tavern, like Sabrina, who I hope you will get on our website and check out her story, will become very much a part of the Gulfstream community, or the Gulfstream family. I recognize, like you gather here today, already know the incredible effort that has been placed on getting uh, to where we are today. The recognition of this important step for Goodwill could not have happened without the support of each and every one of you. With an investment of almost a million dollars, which will bring Home at Tavern to be both a beautiful addition to this community. It will also, more importantly, be a home for those who are our most vulnerable citizens. Again, I thank you and I look forward to working with each of you and our community to continue this progress and work to sustain what we currently are already doing and could continue to solve the issues of homelessness in our community. Thank you. Thank you, Keith. Thank you very much. And ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, come to the time where we uh, do the groundbreaking. So this didn't wasn't too bad at all, right, Sarah? Trust me, Sarah's like a Marine Corps general. You know, uh, she's watching everything I do. She's sitting on the edge of her chair up here, uh, making sure I'm in line. Uh, and I understand that. So. Uh, I'm all right there with you, sir. Three, two, one, go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's official. All right.